Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. My website is www.onpointquilter.com. In today's video, I will be showing you how I used Photoshop elements in order to create better results from not perfect photographs. I'm going to start by opening my Adobe Elements Photoshop program. And I'm going to just click on the photo editor. And now I'm going to go ahead and open the image that I saved on my desktop. And this one was, I just uh, labeled it Farmer's Delight. And you can see that there are some challenges with this. Um, the top is actually fairly straight, but um, you can tell that the photo was not taken necessarily exactly straight on. Um, you can see that it sort of, um, you know, scoops in a little bit on the left here and also on the right. So what I have found, um, I don't really need to crop it, but I do need to distort it. In Photoshop, you can't actually change the base image, but you need to take a snapshot of the image and then alter that. And you do this with the rectangular marquee tool. So I'm going to start by using the rectangle mask tool. And you will see that there's some crosshairs that appear. And I'm just going to um, pull the box around the entire image. And now that it actually has created um, something that I can actually work with. Uh, so now I'll select Image, Transform, and I'm going to select Distort. Now with the Distort, I want to actually have the Control key down and I want to select one of those boxes. And you can see that I as I pull the box, it basically helps me to straighten everything out. So I can get that one corner done. And sometimes I find it good to just click that checkbox and accept it. And then I'm going to, you know, select the distort again. And I'm going to do the other one. And now you can do them all at once, but sometimes it's just as easy to do the accept. Um, rather than to have so many things hit. So you can see all I did was move um, the four corners. Now this quilt is actually looking fairly square. So now I what I can do is I'm going to do a save as and I'm going to save that as uh, Farmer's Delight Full Straightened. So I and I can say OK, and I've basically saved a JPEG of my image. Now, let's assume that I just want to have one of the blocks. And this one is a little challenging because I can't see the actual block edges. I saw in the description that each block was 16 inches and it was basically set in a horizontal. So that means there must have been a seam. Uh, between each of these. Well, um, what I found was useful for that was to just pull in some lines. And if I take one of the rulers, I can just pull. And it's not letting me snap quite in between there. I'm going to do that one first because it did that OK. I'm going to pull from the top and do the same. And on this one, since it won't let me do where I want to, I'll do a little bit to the left. And now I'm going to use the zoom tool. And I can pick up the magnifying glass, make sure the plus is on. And I'm just going to zoom over that area. I can see the grid lines. I know I'm going to have to do this a little bit in. Uh, but what I like to do with that is just go back and use the snipping tool on my um, uh, my window from my windows, and so I will click on the snipping tool, click on new, 
and I'm going to go a little bit inside here since I know that that's the, uh, not quite even and I'm just going to draw a box around the block and so once I've got that I can do a, a file save as and I'm going to call this uh, farmers delight close up and I'm just going to save it that way now um, since I am in Photoshop I wanted to just show you a couple other things that I realized I could do and it was sort of a fun way to you know clean up a couple of those other issues and one of the things that I was noticing and I'm going to zoom in again. See that there's a dip, right? So when they actually clipped it, they didn't quite get everything filled in. Well, one way, th way I realized that you can fix that dip is to take that rectangular marti again. And in this case, just draw a box around part of the area. And I wanted to just get the white in there. Uh, but now if I do an image transform and a distort, it's allowing me just to distort this section. So again, if I use the control key on my computer and this box, I can drag that up to clean, clean up that space. I can also use that marquee box to do an area and repaint some of those clips. So let me just um, select my color picker tool and I'm going to pick one of the other colors on the quilt and I'm going to pick the paintbrush and the paintbrush um, I can select different strokes. Um, I'm going to do the three here and I can you know I can drag and just do it that way or I can just do individual um, pixels and it's helpful in giving you some ideas in how to use Photoshop to clean up your quilt pictures. To see the final photo please check out my website at www.onpointquilter.com and while you're there subscribe to my weekly newsletter for additional tips and techniques.